Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is the brother Shaquat Raka coming from the company of Prophet's Camp that is located out here in Tampa, Florida. And first and foremost, before we start this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah Ba'ashem Chakadash. All right, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah being the true names of the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son in the Paleo Hebrew. And I also want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who teach this truth and ruleth well. All right, today I just want to touch up on this clip. You know, I came across, you know, as you see the, um, you know, this brother, you know, he got a lot of, um, you know, if you're looking for, you know, a lesson to touch up on, you could go up. He got all these shorts up here. All right, um, Rawila Yashala. I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, it's lock it. But, you know, you see it here, man. You know, soon enough, you're going to need to implement, you know, the maneuver in this society, man. All right, you're about to witness, you know, the crash of the um, U.S. dollar. Okay, they're going to do away, you know, with cash, credit cards, Apple Pay, all that. You're going to need to implement soon. And the, w the WEF, you know, I said that. You know, he said very soon you're going to need to implement to purchase things such as food and water. All right, which is this leads to MOTB, which I believe he's he hipped up, man. Because, you know, let me play this back a little bit. You see how he just scanned his hand through the thing? It says marketed, marketed beast update. This is how NFL players check into the training facility. Report See, just scan this hand. That's how it's gonna be everywhere. All right, but we know we know the consequence. It was that take this thing, man. All right, but let me grab this real quick. All right, because you know you had these other camps, you know, mocking, you know, Great Millstone, which I believe they have the full one hundred percent truth. All right, they were mocking GMS, you know, on a, on the MOTB. You know, it was saying the MOTB was white women, the MOTB was sin. But, hey, man, you know, the scripture says, like, I'm, I'm about to grab it. You know, at the end, it shall speak and not lie. And that vision, which is that MOTB, is speaking right now, man. All right, and a lot of you niggas are quiet, man. All right, this is Habakkuk 2 and verse 3. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, right? You know, these visions referring to these prophecies. All right, our forefathers and the prophets... All right, they got these different, um, you know, visions and dreams of these, you know, different prophecies that's, you know, prophesied to take place, which we also be seeing right now, you know, World War Three, the nuclear missiles, Jacob's trouble, the, the famine of the word, and even, you know, the MOTB, man. All right, nearly 2,000 years later, you know, here in 2024, all right, we seeing these things manifest, man. It says, but the end is speaking, not lie. All right, if you're paying attention, you know we in the last days, man. We here at the end, and these prophecies are speaking. You know, you got Russia and these other nations gathering up. All right, and speaking on this MOTB, you literally got people in here with an implement inside of them, man. You got this pay with your palm technology. You got Elon Musk and the Neuralink. All right, you got these different countries with a, um, you know, CBDC, Central Baking Digital Currency. All right, you seeing this speaking, and it's not lying, man. But all we waiting for, all right, is for the mandate, for it to be mandated, because the MOTB is here. But we waiting for the prophecy where it's going to be mandatory for everyone in this world to take it, man. All right, it says, throw it, Terry, wait for it. All right, which if you're in a sincere spirit, <clears throat> you want this thing to be made mandatory right now as we speak, man. All right. But it says because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So even if we got to wait, you know, 50 years, which, you know, everything going on, you know, I highly doubt we're going to be here, you know, for another 50 years. All right, we got to be here for another 10 years, five years, five weeks, five months, so be it. But we got to wait. All right, but at the end of the day, it's going to come. The Lord has a set time period, you know, a set date where this thing is going to take place, man. And it's going to happen, man. 
in your lifetime, regardless of how you feel, or what you think it is, which the MOTB is the RFID micro C hip, man. And it's going to be made mandatory for everyone to take it very soon. All right. Let's get into this MOTB real quick. This is Revelation 13. I'm starting at verse 15. It says, And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. All right, who's this he referring to? Esau Edom. All right, the self proclaimed white man. He's top wicked elites. That's the rulership, man. And what is that image of the beast referring to? This new world order. All right, that new system. You know, they're trying to um, push, man. All right. It's a it says that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So when they bring in this, you know, this new system, anybody that bucks up against it, all right, anybody that don't want to get jiggy with it, they ultimately going to cause you to be killed, man. All right. It says he causes it all. So that means everybody, both small and great. All right. Down to babies, down to your great grandparents. It says rich and poor. So down to Bill Gates, down at the 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 homeless man at the gas station it says free and bond. So down to your law, average law abiding citizen, your damn Trump Biden supporters. All right. Down to your cousin Tyrone and your cousin Jose that's locked up to receive a caragama in their right hand or in their foreheads, which it could be anywhere in your body. All right. But you see the part which says forehead. You got Elon Musk talking about put it in your brain. And which I did a lesson on it on the Neuralink patient. He did, an, he did an interview on Joe um, Rogan's podcast. All right. He was talking about his experience with it. You know, how he could play, um, you know, chess and stuff like that. He was talking about playing Call of Duty, you know, with that thing. And he doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to move. Okay. He just move. He could control the chess game with his mind. He playing video games all night, man. All right. But it could be anywhere in your body. And we know if you take this thing, that's a huge punishment spoken of in Revelation, the 14th chapter, which I'll grab. But it says, um, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of his other beast or the number of his name. All right. And really, these devils want to know everything you do and they want total control. All right. They want to know, you know, how, how many times you eat in the day, how much air you breathe, how many times you have sex, how many times you use in the bathroom. And really, the scripture talks about, you know, how this devil, you know, thinks he has a God complex. All right, ultimately, he wants to know what you're thinking. And, you know, without this thing, you're not going to be able to do anything. Because in this society, what do you do? In this society, you buy and sell. Soon enough, they're going to say, don't use your, no more t Benjamin Blues, no more dubs, no more $50 bills, no more credit cards. You're going to need an implement, man. All right, without this implement, you're really not going to be able to do anything. And really, this is when faith is going to kick in. All right, spoken of in Revelation, I believe, 3 and 10. All right, the hour of temptation, which I'll grab. All right, we all going to be tested, man. Really, it's a time of testing. All right, who do you put your faith in? This devil or y'all about Shemi Shah? And you got a lot of people that's going to put their trust in this devil, man. That's why the scripture says, warrants you that go down to Egypt for help. And Lord willing, I grab that scripture as well. But let me grab this real quick. This is Revelation 14, starting in verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his karagma in his forehead or in his hand. All right, so this angel is telling you know, John the Revelator all right, about this, you know, this thing. But this is a warning. Okay, this, is going, this angel was telling them, uh, was warning them, whoever takes this thing, man, all right, it's a punishment for you. All right, because, you know, you can repent, you know, from anything besides, you know, blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which these these fucking devils got to pay for. All right. And you cannot repent from taking this MOTB because you can repent. You know, certain brothers, you know, I, I myself, I got some tattoos. OK, certain brothers got tattoos. You know, before we came in this truth, we was eating pork, celebrating holidays. because We can repent from that. But if you take this MOTB, you cannot repent from that, man. All right. It says the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the heavenly father, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. OK, and when you go into that word indignation, it goes into righteous anger. All right. For you bozo Christians, the Lord ain't coming back with kisses and hugs and, and peace and love. And the Lord is coming back with a sword. The Lord is coming back with plagues, death, destruction. All right. It's going to be blood on the pavements out here, man. OK. 
And, you know, a, a analogy, okay, you get a drink, all right? What do you get? You take a shot. What do you grab a chaser so you won't feel all that burn? But the Lord's saying, look, you ain't going to have no chaser, man. All right, when I punish you, you're going to feel everything. Ain't going to be no no mercy, no no type of sympathy, no relief, no nothing. You're going to feel all my indignation towards you, man. And it says that he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. What is that fire and brimstone I'm talking about? Because we know, you know, World War III is biblical, also spoken of in the book of Revelation. You know, that um, the second one was passed, the third one coming quickly. That third one referring to World War III, and that's going to result, you know, like Isaiah 9 and 5 says, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire, okay? That's going to result with thermonuclear missiles, man. Also in the book of Revelation, talks about 200,000 thousand horsemen, roughly paraphrasing. 200 million nuclear missiles are prophesied to hit this place, man. Put that in your calculator, man. If I don't put fear in you, you through. All right, but anybody that takes this MOTB and all you fucking heathens, and you two-thirds, y'all going to be in that fire, man. All right, but if you take this, you take this Karagma, you going to... There's no way out, no way around it. You got to eat a nuclear missile. And those angels, uh, what you call these so the so-called UFOs, which are the chariots of the Lord, them angels going to be zapping your ass. You're going to be out there getting burnt alive, man. You're you going to be in the grill. You're going to be getting cooked out, man. All right? I had, um, oh, let me grab this real quick. Matter of fact, let me grab... Um, one to them. Go down to Egypt for help. It's Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Okay. Woe going into, you know, um, death and destruction. All right. It says, stay, stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. Okay. You know, referring to America because America has all these resources. All right, they had a strong, you know, military might, you know, and people put their trust in that. All right, you see a prime example, when you get a hurricane, who do people go to? FEMA. When people are in a difficult situation, when they're in the straits, okay, they call 911, okay, they call firefighters, etc. They don't think about the Lord. All right, but it says, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. All right, they don't look at, hold on. I'm gonna bring it, move. I'm doing something. Okay, but when people in a difficult situation, they go to Esau Edom for help, man. But they don't think about seeking Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah, man. And that's why it says, woe unto you that go down to Egypt for help. Because you got a lot of people, they're going to put their trust in this devil, man. All right? And that's and you take that shit, man. Because they're going to tell you, look, there's going to be a famine out here. They're going to have some type of, you know, resources. They're going to tell you, look, you want to eat, you want to drink water, take this. And if you take that, you're doomed, man. You're fucked. Let me grab this real quick. I had quoted it. Um, I was really all going to be tested, man. The hour of temptation. It's Revelation 3. I'm going to start in verse 10. It says, because thou hast... And this is a red letter, so this is... Yeah, I was just speaking. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Okay, my patience. Referring to the Lord's... This truth. Okay, the Lord's wisdom and knowledge and understanding, which he gave to us through the Holy Spirit, through the Rechakadosh. It says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. You see that? Not yourself. Okay, because none of us can sit here and say we're not taking that thing, man. You don't know what could happen, man. You know, they got a saying, you know, you don't know what's going to happen until you're in that situation, man. You got a lot of people that will say, if this was to happen, you know, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. da 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 all right, but when you're in that situation, hey, prime example, you know, when Peter denied Yahweh Shah, all right, 
You know, Peter, you know, Peter was like that. All right. Peter, you know, Peter was telling you, I was shy, you know, when they were getting ready to crucify him, Peter was telling you, you know, I'm, I'm, with, I'm with you, man. I'm running for you, man. But Yahweh told him, you're going to deny me, man. I am, and, that, and that kills free will. None of us got free will, man. You know, P Peter denied Yahweh shot three times, man. I right, said, so we don't have free will, okay? You, you don't know what you're going to do until you're in that situation. But the Lord, the Lord said, I will keep you out of that hour of temptation, not yourself. All right, and that's why as brethren, we got to be humble. And we pray the Lord keeps, you know, a spirit on us to endure it. If we ain't eight in days, you won't give in to that. All right, we pray the Lord keeps a spirit on us to not take that thing. So we ain't trying to eat a nuclear missile. And even if we got to, you know, eat, you know, have to go through the guillotine. Because you got you got members of the elect, not all brothers, but you got certain members of the elect that are going to be, you know, mer what's the, I forgot the word. All right, but they're going to have to die for this truth, man. He said, I seen those that were beheaded, which I'm, I'm going to grab it real quick after this. Well, I'm going to grab it real quick. Revelation 20. All right, it's Revelation 20 and 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shah, for the word of the Heavenly Father, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his karagma upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. I right, referring to those, you know, you got certain brothers of the elect. Of the elect. You know, I got to go through that guillotine, man. All right, John the Revelator seen this. All right, they got beheaded for not taking this thing. He stood firm. He said, you know what? If I got to die, fuck it. I'm not taking that thing, man. So none of us ain't trying to eat a nuclear missile. I ain't like the brother of Ball, you know, my camp company of prophets. Um, you know, our last um, camp is going into it. You know, don't be surprised. You know, speak for myself, first and foremost, don't be surprised if that's your lot. Somebody got to fulfill that lot, but we're not saying, you know, every brother not going to go through that. It might not be you, but it might be you, so don't be surprised. You know, I, I myself might have to go through that, man. All right? But let me grab, let me get back to that revelation. It's Revelation 3 and 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth, which we all going to be testing. And the Lord seeing who's for this world, who's of this world, who 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 put a trust in this devil, man, who put a trust in, in me. It's just a time of testing, man. Do you put your trust in Esau, Edom, this, self, this devil, or you put your trust in Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shine? We all going to be tested. I'm going to be tested. You're going to be tested. We all going to be tested, man. But we just pray we be those, you know, those men that don't give in to that, man. It says, behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown. And, you know, all us brethren, we got a spiritual crown over our heads. You know, we can't see it, but we got a spiritual crown. We got to hold on to it. And we can't let nothing, you know, take our crown. You know, whatever you're going through, you know, the Lord put a certain hell upon, you know, all of us brethren. All right. You know, Esau, he don't going to try to, and Esau, he don't want you to go off again. He wants you to go against your heavenly father, man. We can't let Esau, he don't, we can't let what people think of us. We can't let no bitch take our crown, bro. All right. But this is, um, I'll grab this real quick and I'll close it out. This is Romans 11 and 4. But what saith the answer of the Heavenly Father unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. All right, a complete number of men. All right, it's not talking about exactly 7,000 men because when you go into that word, that number is seven, I don't know why I keep saying word, <laughs> but when you go into that number seven, it goes into completion. And this is talking about the one for 4,000, 12,000 from each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel, which, you know, a sincere brethren are aspiring to be of. All right, it says, who have not bowed the knee to the image of by all and they you know it's predestined okay it's predestined the lord got it set already but you know it's like a movie everybody got a movie role but everybody gotta play out that script man whoever the elect is they already saved they just gotta play out you know the script man all right but these men they didn't give in even if they had to get beheaded they ain't eight in days or whatever man they didn't give in all right at the end of the day though y'all watch me i'm sure i was gonna keep them stable in that time man Y'all boss me up, so I was going to be with them, which I hope myself and all you sincere Akim and you Akwaf, you know, 
be a part of that number. Because you got the leg and the one-third. Men, women, child. It's not going to give in to this thing, man. All right, but, you know, I didn't want to make this lesson too long. Y'all rock the za. I'll be rock the za. Lord willing, I pray this lesson be edifying to whoever is watching. If this lesson was edifying unto you, it'll be edifying to the hopeful electors, the Akim and the Aqua that's also tuning in. And once again, before I close out, I want to give all honor and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Chakadash. And once again, I want to give double honors unto the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who teach the truth and rule it well. And with that, I'm going to say, Shalom. <laughs>